Okay, folks, we had a severe power outage in South Africa today. Now, the interesting thing was they said everything was green on their end. The problem was with the transmission lines, those copper wires carrying the electricity. Now, nobody on the planet is in a position to say that this was uh, solar or geomagnetically related, but those would be the symptoms if that's the case. You m might know that earlier this morning, uh, last night, we had the coronal mass ejection associated with this hydro flare hit the Earth, along with the solar wind stream from these dark coronal holes uh, down here at the southern part of the sun. As you can see here on the total electron content. We did get a little uh, jolt there. We did get a bit of juice. This is supposed to be a nice sine curve. We'll come back to this actually. Looking at the flux gate magnetometer, we can see only minor disturbances. This is very good, folks. This means that those PC1 pulsations really were indicative of, uh, of the magnetosphere repairing itself. You can see here on the induction magnetometer, uh, again, only very minor disturbances. And you might even see a little PC1 pulsation here indicating that she's trying to uh, repair itself right away. Now for those who know a bit more about physics, what you're actually seeing here is the radiation generated at the equatorial line of our outer magnetosphere and then it is directed back down into our ionosphere via the magnetic lines of the Earth. And as you can see here, uh, there was definitely some some penetration of solar plasma uh, down here. Uh, so interestingly enough on that same line of thinking, Earth's bow shock is remarkably thin, NASA says. Uh, about as thin as physics will allow it to be. The bow shock is where the solar wind goes from supersonic to subsonic when it meets resistance from our magnetosphere. And apparently ours is extremely thin. Uh, we haven't quite worked out uh, the implications of this. Uh, it's got to be something. Uh, so keep an eye on uh, all this stuff, folks. World War III on our doorstep, the financial world collapsing all around you in this uh, giant ball of fire out there. Be safe, everyone.